So I'm happily using my Google TV device, browsing around, looking at my applications. And all of a sudden now I see this. So something is now blocking my applications from being able to run on my device. And this is unfortunately just a start, guys, because as I'm sure you've seen in the news in the last few days, Google are now planning to block all unverified applications being installed on all certified devices. Something that really just changes the whole point of using Android because Android typically has always been a bit more open, a bit more flexible, giving more power to the user to really use the device as he or she sees fit. But now with all of these new controls, these new restrictions, it looks like Google will tell you exactly which applications you can use on your device. And if you don't like it, don't buy a certified device. So let's answer those key questions that exactly which applications will be impacted, exactly which devices are impacted, and what is the only real fix I can see working right now. And I don't want to waste your time. The way I see it is applications which are already in the Google Play Store, like the K application, like the T application, like the S application, which I will show you in just a second. Those applications will continue to work absolutely fine. If they're the only applications that you use, then you're probably not going to be too much impacted by this change. So lots of you left comments in my last video saying, I use this application. Am I going to be impacted? Is this application going to be blocked? So the easy way to answer all those questions is open up the Play Store right now. And let's say, for example, I do lots of my personal streaming using this application you can see it's officially published in the google play store has had more than 50 million downloads i can click on that and the developer or the developers behind this have already verified their identity which you can see here so you got the official foundation you got the address you got the contact details this application is absolutely fine and it's not going to be impacted with any change coming in the next few months similarly if you use another application like let's type that in Again, we can see official application has more than a million downloads. Again, we can see the developer has already verified their details. All of the information is here. So because of that, this application will not be impacted. And similarly, guys, I'm sure you can have a look and just see which applications you're using now. If they are already available on the Google Play Store, I don't think you'll have too much issue with these upcoming changes. Now, these changes were recently mentioned in a new article by AFTV News, as you can see here. And he mentions that how will Android's upcoming change affect your application and devices. And in screenshot here, he's actually using the K application, which I do believe lots of people will actually end up going back to because in the old days, and do leave me a comment if you remember this, this really was the de facto application. This application with a couple of builds, a couple of add-ons gave you access to lots of interesting content. People, some people did find it a bit complicated, required a bit of configuration. That's when applications apks came out individual applications offering similar content one click install it and away you go lots of people jumped over to those applications your terrariums your show boxes and that kind of stuff they became very very popular but if these new changes go ahead then those applications will likely be phased out and lots of people will return back to this application. It's almost like a full circle. People will come back here, find some recent add-ons, link it to RD, link it to track, and go ahead and enjoy all of the content that you were previously enjoying. As we know, with all of these things, piracy related, people always find a way, people always find workarounds. It's just one of those things that can never be fully stopped because the demand is just so high. So we can see that Elias mentions that Google has now plans to regulate every app being sideloaded onto your certified device. And because of that, many of your favorite applications, which are third party, like your streaming ones, like your custom launchers, some other ones, all of them potentially will be blocked and will not be allowed to be installed on your certified devices. Now, it does say that there are still many unknowns with this, which is fair enough, because as with all changes, until the changes actually go live, we're not fully sure how this will be implemented. So some of it is speculation, but just looking at previously, like for example, with Play Protect, they had the ability to mark any application unsafe and remove that from your system. So because of that, we can see them also being very aggressive with these new changes. He said that the changes to sideloading will begin rolling out on September, 2026 in these countries, Brazil, Indonesia, Singapore, and uh, Thailand. Now, the original article mentions that this is going to impact all certified devices. Lots of people did leave a comment in my last video that they may jump back to generic, those Chinese TV boxes, because they're definitely not going to have these kind of restrictions. And he mentions that none of the Amazon Fire TV devices are certified Android devices, 
And because of that, they're not going to be impacted by this upcoming Google change. But as we know with Amazon, they've got their own updates that they've been pushing out recently, blocking any application that they deem has malware. And if they think it's got malware, they just block it on your device straight away. So it does look like all of these big companies are now going after these third party applications for various reasons, whether it's security, whether it's malware, whether it's something else. Ultimately, it does mean that they have full control on what you can put on your device and nobody is happy with that. And he mentions here that we don't know if it's going to be possible to opt out of these new changes. We know with Play Protect, you can actually switch that off. So even though you see that warning that I showed you at the start of the video, you can actually dismiss it and choose to install anyway. You can also disable Play Protect. So there is some options there, but with these new changes that are coming out, we don't know if Google will give you the ability to opt out of those restrictions. And here he mentions a key point about the Google Play Store apps that if you do see any application in the Play Store, because that application has been verified, the developer has been verified, you can definitely sideload that anywhere. So even if you uh, get it from one Play Store from one region like USA, you can happily sideload that into a UK device or an EU device because the application itself has actually already been verified. So because of that, your system, once it gets its new changes, is not going to try and block you installing it. It's all those other applications which haven't been verified. They're the ones that are going to be directly impacted with this new change, which he mentions here, which are the, the ones which are questionable applications, those ones, because there's no way the developer is going to verify the identity because it requires you to upload your government certified documents. Because they're not going to do that, those developers are not going to be certified and those applications will never be allowed to be officially uh, published on the Google Play Store and therefore be directly impacted with these upcoming changes. We have to wait and see exactly what happens to your device, the direct impact when it receives this new update and what is the behavior to applications that are already installed on your device. Do they now become blacklisted? Do they automatically become uninstalled or are they just blocked and you can't run them anymore? So all of these unknowns, we'll have to wait and see when the new update comes out. But I'm pretty sure because of the demand for this kind of content, third party applications, etc., I'm hoping there will be some workarounds or at least the ability to turn this off, giving that control once again back to the user. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these upcoming changes. I know lots of you were mega angry or mega frustrated because we know we had all of this chaos from Amazon, Amazon trying to tell you how to use your device, Amazon trying to tell you which applications you can install, Amazon just basically telling you what to do. People jumped over to the Android side, the Google TV side, but it looks like once again, those big players are going to dictate exactly what you can do on your device, which applications you can use, what things you can run. All of that control is going to be with them once again. So very frustrating. Definitely do leave me your comments below. Let me know what you think and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.